Imagine this, the plane is at 1,000 feet, and suddenly the cockpit fills with smoke. The pilot puts on the oxygen mask but can't see a thing. They're flying blind. This isn't a movie scene. It actually happened in the US on a Boeing 737 MAX. Boeing and the FAA say the aircraft is safe, but a hidden system called LRD, something even pilots had only just discovered, is now under federal investigation. So what does this system actually do? And why are some experts saying, we've seen this before? In this video, we uncover what the headlines didn't say, what Boeing didn't explain, and the real risks behind it all. It all started with a small component, LRD, Load Reduction Device. Normally, this system was never even mentioned. Pilots didn't hear about it during pre-flight briefings, and it wasn't covered in simulators either. But now, this system is at the center of a new safety crisis involving the 737 MAX. So, what exactly is the LRD? It was designed to reduce vibrations in the event of a severe engine fan failure. If a bird strikes the engine or if a fan blade breaks off, it can throw off the engine's internal balance dramatically. That can result in vibrations powerful enough to threaten the structural integrity of the aircraft. This is where the LRD kicks in. It allows the fan to detach from the engine to spin freely. That re-centers the rotation and prevents catastrophic vibrations. On paper, it sounds perfect. But here's the problem. Activating this system triggers something else. Toxic smoke. The air that passengers and pilots breathe on board comes from the engine. When the LRD is triggered, it can cause an oil leak. That oil hits extreme heat, breaks down, and releases toxic compounds into the air. Acetone, formaldehyde, acrolein. In short, LRD solves one problem while creating another potentially deadly one. And tragically, pilots didn't even know about the risk until after it happened. Remember what happened with the MCAS system? Pilots weren't informed, it wasn't included in training, and the consequences were catastrophic. Now, we're facing a very similar situation. LRD is a system installed on the 737 MAX engine, but it's not mentioned in any flight manuals, not in the QRH, not in the FCOM. That means a pilot might not even know the name of the system responsible for releasing toxic smoke into the cabin. This alarming fact only came to light after two real-world incidents in 2023. Two separate Southwest Airlines flights struck large birds during takeoff, one in Cuba, the other in New Orleans. In both cases, the LRD automatically activated, and that's when the real surprise came. Thick smoke filled both the cockpit and the cabin, and this wasn't just annoying smoke, it contained toxic gases that could be deadly if inhaled. Afterward, pilots were shocked. What is this system? Why were we never told about it? Boeing's response? No problem, this can be addressed under standard engine failure procedures. Sound familiar? Just like with MCAS, the seriousness of the situation was once again downplayed. But this time, the pilots didn't stay silent. Because if the system activates at the wrong time, it could be the start of a disaster. Where does the air we breathe on a commercial plane come from? Simple answer, the engine. Modern jet engines take high-pressure air just before the combustion stage. That air is routed into the cabin through a system called bleed air. It powers the air conditioning, pressurizes the cabin, and prevents icing. Under normal conditions, this system is perfectly safe. The air doesn't come into contact with the burning fuel, so it stays clean. But when the LRD activates, everything changes. The fan separates from the rest of the engine, and that separation causes a breach in the oil lines. As much as 4 gallons of engine oil can leak directly into the high-temperature compressor air. So what happens next? That oil vaporizes under extreme heat, then mixes with the cabin air as microscopic toxic particles. What does that include? Chemicals like acrolein, formaldehyde, and acetone. Sharp-smelling, highly toxic compounds. So the air pilots and passengers breathe suddenly becomes a toxic gas mixture. And that smoke doesn't just stay in the cabin, it reaches the cockpit. That's exactly what happened on those Southwest flights. A sudden burst of white smoke nearly blinded the pilots. Oxygen masks went on, emergency checklists were initiated. 
But what if things had played out a little differently? What if the smoke had appeared right after takeoff, at just 400 feet? What if the pilots hadn't had time to reach their oxygen masks? That's the real nightmare scenario. And as of now, that risk still hasn't been fully eliminated. In 2023, a Southwest Airlines 737 MAX hit a bird shortly after takeoff. The impact triggered the LRD system inside the engine. The result? The cockpit filled with thick, toxic white smoke. The pilots quickly put on their oxygen masks, but the true severity of what happened only became clear after further analysis. Experts reviewed the flight data from that day, and what they found was chilling. If the engine's RPM had been just slightly higher, the level of toxic gases in the cockpit could have reached a lethal threshold in just 39 seconds. Just 39 seconds. That's barely enough time to grab an oxygen mask, open a checklist, or even speak a full sentence. And during that window, the captain was still flying manually, autopilot wasn't engaged, landing gear hadn't been retracted, the aircraft was just a few hundred feet above the ground, one misstep could have ended in disaster. And there's more. Even if the oxygen masks protect against breathing toxic air, a completely smoked out cockpit is still a massive threat. The captain later reported that he could only fly the plane using the head-up display, but that equipment isn't available on all 737s, and when it is, it's often only installed on the captain's side. So what did the pilots do? They followed the checklist, they shut down the damaged engine, but here's the twist, the crucial valve that cuts off smoke flow into the cabin, it had already activated automatically two minutes earlier. The smoke only entered the cockpit for about 16 seconds, yet it was enough to completely flood the flight deck. Had the engine been spinning any faster, that duration could have been longer, and the concentration of acrolin and formaldehyde could have reached fatal levels in seconds. So now we ask, if a danger this extreme can develop in under a minute, why is the system still left unchanged? And more importantly, why weren't the pilots warned before these incidents happened? After these incidents, all eyes turned once again to the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration. They received detailed reports about the smoke events on board the Southwest 737 MAX flights. They reviewed cockpit voice recordings, pilot testimonies, and engineering assessments. And then, FAA engineers raised serious red flags. In their view, the LRD system needed a full reassessment. Their recommendations were clear. Flight crews should be educated on the system's behavior. Emergency procedures should be updated. And most importantly, the design needed changes. So what happened? None of it was implemented. The FAA chose not to act on the warnings from its own internal safety experts. Meanwhile, Boeing's follow-up reports barely acknowledged any systemic risk with the LRD. To Boeing, it was a low-probability scenario, but the FAA engineers strongly disagreed. According to them, the same scenario could happen again. With different engine speeds, the smoke could last longer, pilots might be overwhelmed, and passengers could also be affected. Still, FAA leadership dismissed these concerns, saying there was insufficient evidence. They archived the warnings. No design mandates, no urgent airworthiness directive, no formal communication to airlines or flight crews. The system remains as is. So now we have to ask, if even the FAA won't listen to its own experts, who's actually regulating these planes and who's protecting the passengers? This is no longer just a technical issue. It's about a broken safety culture. And that culture, especially around the 737 MAX, has already been eroding for years. The 737 MAX crisis is no longer about just one issue. First, it was MCAS, a hidden flight control system omitted from pilot training and manuals. Now, it's the LRD. So why didn't Boeing disclose this system to pilots? Officially, the LRD was fully automatic. It didn't require any crew intervention. That's why it wasn't included in flight manuals or simulators. But the reality isn't that simple. When the system activates, it suddenly compromises the cabin's air quality. For pilots, this causes immediate visual and physical shock. In the first incident, the passenger cabin was filled with smoke. In the second, the cockpit was nearly blinded. So even if it's automatic, its effects directly impact flight safety. Here's what makes things even more concerning. 
The same LRD-equipped engines, Leap 1A, are used on Airbus A320neos. But these toxic smoke events? They've only happened on the 737 MAX. Why? Because the MAX's air system is different. The left engine feeds air directly into the cockpit. So if that engine is damaged, the first place to fill with toxic smoke is the flight deck. Boeing knew about this difference, and still, they didn't warn pilots. Even after the Southwest incidents, technical bulletins described the LRD as just a routine engine damage scenario. But what actually happened went far beyond that. This wasn't just another failure mode. It was a system-level vulnerability that could trigger during critical phases of flight, like takeoff. And still, Boeing's messaging continued to downplay the threat. Sound familiar? After the MCAS crashes, Boeing said, It was pilot error. The aircraft is safe. But 346 people died. Today, thankfully, no one has. Yet. But this time, it was the pilots who raised the alarm. Was that just luck? Or is this our last warning before something worse happens? In the United States, when a technical issue threatens flight safety, the first agency to respond is usually the FAA. But this time, another authority entered the scene. The NTSB, National Transportation Safety Board. Why? Because this wasn't just a routine technical issue. A Southwest 737 MAX encountered cabin smoke shortly after takeoff. Some passengers began coughing, others reportedly felt sick. The pilots donned oxygen masks and made an emergency landing. After landing, the initial investigation revealed that the LRD system had activated. Even more troubling, toxic chemicals were detected in the cockpit air samples. This wasn't just an engineering problem, it was a public health crisis. That's when the NTSB got involved. And when the NTSB steps in, it means the investigation is no longer confined to behind-the-scenes discussions between Boeing and the FAA. The NTSB is independent. Its core mission is to uncover the truth, without influence, pressure, or politics. In the past, the NTSB also looked into the MCAS crashes. But this time, their response came much earlier. Investigators analyzed the black boxes, system logs, and cockpit voice recordings. They also collected passenger and pilot testimonies. And for the first time, Boeing was officially asked to provide full transparency. Preliminary public reports pointed to something serious. Boeing may have withheld crucial information about the LRD from the FAA. If proven true, this wouldn't just be a technical lapse. It would be corporate negligence and a systemic failure in aviation safety oversight. And at that point, the NTSB's final report could determine not only Boeing's future, but the fate of the entire 737 MAX fleet. The 737 MAX crisis first erupted with two fatal crashes in 2018 and 2019. A total of 346 people lost their lives. Following that tragedy, the aircraft was grounded for months. Everyone assumed Boeing, the FAA, and regulators had learned their lesson. But today, with the LRD issue, those traumatic memories are resurfacing. Why? Because it feels like history is repeating itself. A system that pilots weren't properly informed about. A technology that seems safe on paper, but causes unintended consequences in real-world conditions. And toxic fumes that directly affect passengers. This time, however, the incidents didn't occur in some far-off country. They happened on domestic U.S. flights. The American public was put at risk, right here, at home. On social media, pilots began voicing their concerns. We're still discovering surprises on the MAX. Several unions called for a full review of the FAA's aircraft certification process. And passengers? They've started to actively avoid tickets labeled with MAX. The stigma is back. At this point, public pressure is mounting. But even more critically, losing passengers' trust is the worst crisis an airline can face. Because people don't just buy a ticket, they buy peace of mind. Once that trust is broken, no brand is strong enough, no technology is advanced enough to make people feel safe again. The LRD issue isn't just a technical detail, it's a reminder of why the 737 MAX remains controversial. And this debate? It may be just beginning. Boeing is one of the most iconic names in aviation history. 
it changed the skies with the 747 and ushered in a new era of long-haul travel with the 777. But the 737 MAX might be the darkest chapter in that legacy. The trust lost during the MCAS crisis is now compounded by the LRD issue. Each new revelation further erodes public confidence in Boeing. Today, Boeing isn't just dealing with a technical issue, it's facing a full-blown credibility crisis. Authorities like the FAA, ESA, and NTSB are working on new regulations. CFM is developing software updates to make the PRSOV valve shut faster. But for passengers, one question remains front and center. Am I truly safe on this plane? And that answer can't come from engineering alone. It has to come from transparency, training, and open communication. If the proposed software updates get approved in the coming months, the risks posed by LRD will likely be reduced. But that might not be enough to erase all doubts surrounding the 737 MAX. Because people are also asking, if even pilots weren't told about this, what else are we not being told? That's why Boeing's biggest challenge now isn't technical, it's about reputation. And reputation? It takes decades to build, but only one moment to lose. The 737 MAX will keep flying, but with every takeoff, this silent question will echo in the minds of both passengers and pilots. What if something goes wrong? That's why this isn't just a technical flaw. It may be one of the greatest tests modern aviation has ever faced. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. See you at 40,000 feet.